Drive through some of the county's busiest intersections and you might notice that someone is watching. And that someone is Carl Hickman from this office in Kearney Mesa. The room that we're in right now is called the Traffic Operations Center. And what we have is an ability with the equipment that is in this room to communicate to approximately 50 of our total of 188 traffic signals that we have in the county. Hickman monitors, troubleshoots, and modifies traffic signal timing. All from here. What we're able to do is maintain an efficient traffic signal system, and that also increases the level of safety that we have on the roadways. And we can do many modifications right here from the office that enable us to do that. This is an actual picture of what is going on in the traffic signal controller as we speak. In the old days, let's say we get a phone call from a resident who has a complaint about a traffic signal, or maybe the signal has gone out. Um, we would have to just send a technician down to do an investigation, see what's going on, and then hopefully fix it in the field. But nowadays, with the system that we have here, we're able to talk to the resident, actually pull up the signal on the screen here, and verify if there is, in fact, a problem. We're able to dispatch the correct vehicle, the correct personnel with the correct equipment immediately to respond to the problem. The big TV screen shows what the strategically placed video cameras at major intersections are seeing in real time. The cameras are 360 degree pan, tilt and zoom cameras, so we can pretty much zoom in pretty close to whatever we want to see. I'm able to zoom in even and read street name signs from a quarter mile away in some cases. Up on the top we have um, 12 of our CCTV cameras that are actually streaming back live video. I can access an individual intersection and control the cameras. Here we'll have a full screen view of the intersection at Hamashaw Road and Sweetwater Road. And it's live streaming video. This is exactly what's going on right now as we speak. Let me pull that up on our screen. I can take a look at it and, and kind of verify uh, what's going on out there. A lot of things we can do right from here. If a resident says that a left turn arrow is too short, for example, or the green is too short, we're able to check it right from here, make the modification from here in the office, send down the change to the signal timing in the cabinet, in the controller, and make the change from here. It's a system that not only benefits commuters, but also the staff at the county's Department of Public Works. I think that it's helped my job and my technicians' jobs in the fact that we are easily able to access the information that we see live on the screen. And we're not guessing, we're not having to take chances. We know what's going on, we can send out teams to fix the problems and it saves a lot of time and enables us to respond quicker.